hello guys welcome to indian scale modeler youtube channel so today i want to tell you basically about the different tools that we use for scale modeling so as you can see here these are all the tools which i basically use for scale modeling now you may be having more tools than this or you might have less tools than what i have but typically the thing is most of these tools are not easily available in india so i have to order it from either ebay or aliexpress amazon does not have them so yeah it has few of them but not most of them so i will tell you what each of this tool is and what it is used for so this particular tool what you see here it's called a sprue cutter now this is a very simple kind of sprue cutter you see these cutting edges are really flat there is another sprue cutter which has a bit thick edge over here and the cutting edge is really sharp so basically these are used to cut the part from their sprues let me show you an example whoa did you see that that's how this part jump from the sprue when we cut them Okay, so we are done with the sprue cutter. Now this is a very important tool. It is an exacto knife. It has a blade, a very high quality blade, a surgical precision blade, which is mounted on top of it, and it wears off pretty quickly. So you can remove the blade. place another blade inside that yes this is a freshly made blade which i just put now my earlier one had worn out so these these are really sharp you should take extra safety precautions whenever you use these things they cut really deep and you don't want blood over your model and as i have seen it all my fellow modelers that is a sacrifice the modeling god always asks whether you like it or not so yes these come with set of five blades over here extra blades this one i had got from amazon i will share the link in the description below now this is a good old steel scale i use it for cutting decals or for cutting masking tape in lines a very handy now these are the special kind of tweezers that we use for scale modeling now these also i brought from amazon each have a specific purpose this one is for what do i think this is for holding parts really uh, which are really deep inside something like for example uh, you are putting a solder wire in a cockpit to show the wires for 1 by 48 scale so you use this or you have to do, when i had to uh, put the landing gear doors for the mig so this is what i use as the landing gear door were uh, deep inside and i had to place the landing gear inside the fuse large to place the landing gear I grabbed it by this and I stuck it up there. And this this uh, tweezer, especially I use it for painting. So uh, when it's a small part, it holds it in place like this. So if you have to paint a complete part, you just clip it into this. This this is like a, a paper clip. Yes, a tweezer paper clip kind of tool. I will place the link for this in the description. Now this is a scribing tool. This is used to scribe the panel lines in aircraft. It is a pretty good tool. I haven't used it as of now because the scales I have been working on are pretty small. So, like I did uh, two aircraft of one by one forty four scale, for example, this one, and this this is too small. The scribing edge is too small to put into these grooves, and it slips off. So this this one is pretty good if you are working with aircraft of one by seventy two scale or one by forty eight scale. 1 by 48 scale aircraft have raised panel lines and this is a very nice tool to use used on that now these are the nail filing sticks and this is a sanding stick so this is used to sand the parts to a fine edge whenever there are burrs or whenever there are part is not fitting properly so you need to sand them to a specific finish and uh, this sanding stick it has different grades on that this is like as you can read this is step 1 coarse grit 2 shape nail step 2 so yeah this is a step 3 
step 4 step 5 step 6 and step 7 wow this is the first time i'm observing it so nicely with all different steps i basically use step 1 and step 6 for polishing it this is for a really coarse grit this has very low grid density and this is like a small file not exactly file but a very coarse coarse grid sanding stick now these are the needle files these are also pretty handy tools i got this from alibaba they are used to sand uh, rectangular corners to a fine finish this this is a semi this has a semicircular cross section and this is used uh, for sanding curved parts like the cockpit hatch and the landing gear base i use it for those this triangular needle file i uh, use it for uh, filing the grooves to make the grooves sharp now this one is a dropper obviously a very simple tool you can get it at any stationery shop for like three or four bucks i use it for putting uh, drops whenever i mix paints uh, really good because i don't want uh, earlier I, uh, I used to do hand brushing since i did not own an airbrush so this aircraft has been completely hand brushed and uh, for mixing uh, paint um, and for adding water i always um, like to measure it with this dropper and it, it helps to keep the paint uniform the coat uniform as i can remember how many drops of water I have put to a specific amount of paint <laughs> this is a needle syringe this I uh, use it specially for uh, unclogging the Re rebel contactor cement so yes this is the rebel contactor cement and uh, what I do with this is you can see sometimes yes okay it's, it's open now but what happens sometimes is this syringe it gets clogged so i figured a way out this needle syringe has a smaller diameter which is exactly equal yes you see it goes inside it's like cleaning a barrel of a gun a similar tool is used you just pump it in and out in and out yes and that's it your rebel contactor cement is ready to use and it flows freely okay so this is a syringe Again, I use it uh, especially for airbrushing, like if I want to <coughs> add a certain amount of water, like 1.5 ml, I will just inject 1. Point, uh, I will measure 1.5 ml and I will inject the required amount into the airbrush cup and mix it. J just like a dropper, but I use this for airbrushing. Now you all will be wondering what this spoon is doing here. Actually, I use this spoon to uh, test colors. I saw this in a YouTube video and uh, I like the idea. Since this is also made of plastic, acrylic colors bind well, really well to plastic. So whenever I mix colors, just to see how milky they are, the colors should always be mixed to the consistency of milk. Uh, so yes, and then I apply that paint to this spoon with a brush. I let it dry and then using that I can get an idea like whether I need to thin the paint or I need to uh, add more uh, paint to the uh, uh, mixture so that you, uh, I can get the right consistency of milk. Now these are the sticks which which I use for mixing uh, compounds like uh, fevicryl shilpakar which I use as a putty to fill up the parts like for example I can show you here this this portion from fuselage to the cockpit area canop near the canopy this portion I have filled with fevicryl shilpakar and i use this to press this inside and also i fill these models with a inside them with a modeling clay like for example i can show you yes you can see a very fine blue color over that that's the modeling clay inside so those modeling clays to fix them in, uh, inside uh, i use this to scoop them up and i press them properly so that the in internal cavity is filled i like my models heavy so i add in the clay and yes obviously it's a heavy aircraft and it makes me feel really happy whenever i hold it or whenever i pick it up but there is a disadvantage to that technique we never know how much weight we are going to put by adding the clay so that i had to put this two sprue sticks as supports because the landing gears are too weak after i add the weight inside the base so yeah like when i keep it like this they are not visible but they are there for support otherwise the landing gear just goes inside now this is a crocodile clip this is really handy for airbrushing small parts you can hold it like this and then there is a sponge which i use you can hold it inside that sponge like this just push it inside yeah so this is a sponge 
So what I do is I'll just put it inside like this and then use my airbrush to spray small parts. Very handy tool for holding small parts during airbrushing. And these are the tie wraps. Now these, I uh, I don't have the clamps yet, I have ordered the clamps, they are on, on their way, I ordered it from Alibaba. So till then I was using this tie wraps, whenever I stuck two halves of the fuselage Tamiya extra thin cement, this is what I use for sticking them. I put this tie wrap around them, because uh, it's a 1 by 72 scale fuselage, I put it around these and then I tightened it up. That is, uh, it helps to uh, keep the parts bonded together. It adds an external force to the part because of which they fit really well. So that is what I use tie wraps for. So yes guys, these are the tools I have been using and there are few more tools which are going to be added soon in my collection. I will show them to you as well. This is my first video. I request you to subscribe to my channel and let's spread the art of skill modeling among, among Indians. See you soon. Have a good day. Take care.